find the integral from pi on 4 to pi on 3 of cos t squared dt. Alright, so I don't know how to do cos squared, but I do know that there's some trig identities that might turn it into something a bit more useful. So trig identities are with cos squared in them. There's cos squared plus sine squared is 1, but that would only convert it to sine squared, and I still don't know what to do with that. Double angle formulas have cos squared in them, so let's give them a go. Cos of 2t would be cos t squared minus sine t squared. But that's still got a sine squared in it, so I should convert that. So the sine squared would be 1 minus cos squared. So the minus minus for the cos squared would give me 2 of cos t squared minus 1. So now I can rearrange that to get something a bit more useful. So I've got 2 cos t squared would be cos 2t plus 1. So cos t squared will be a half of cos 2t plus a half. And now I can do my integral. So it was the integral from pi on 4 to pi on 3 of cos t squared dt. And that's equal to the integral from pi on 4 to pi on 3 of a half of cos 2t plus a half dt. Okay. So that's equal to, let's see, the half will just stay there. The integral of cos is sine, um, but that would only work if it was sine t and it's 2t and because the derivative that's a constant I can just divide by the derivative. Okay, and the integral of a half would be a half t and I'm going to go from pi on 4 to pi on 3. Okay. So I've got a quarter of sine 2t plus a half of t from pi on 4 to pi on 3. Okay. So that's equal to a quarter of sine 2 times the top one. So 2 times pi on 3 would just be 2 pi on 3 plus a half of pi on 3 minus a quarter of sine of 2 pi on 4 would just be pi on 2 plus a half times pi on 2 okay so sine of 2 pi on 3 uh, unit circle, 2 pi and 3 is over here, and sine is still positive there, okay, and pi on 3 is 60 degrees, so sine of pi on 3 is root 3 on 2. Okay, so the answer for that is root 3 on 2 plus pi on 6 minus now sine of pi on 2 pi on 2 is there sine of pi on 2 is 1 a quarter plus uh, pi on 4 so we've got root 3 on 8 plus pi on 6 minus a quarter minus pi on 4 okay And that really can't be simplified. The pi on 6 minus the pi on 4 could. I could put them over a common denominator. So root 3 on 8 minus a quarter plus 
2 pi on 12 minus 3 pi on 12 which will give us root 3 on 8 minus a quarter minus pi on 12. So it's not pretty, but that's the answer.